Hello, hello, hello queens. I'm back at y'all with another client tutorial and today I'm showing y'all how I created this all out purple glam and y'all already know I love to jump straight into the video. So I'm starting off by cleaning my client's face. Now that her face is clean, we're gonna begin the process of her eyebrows. So I'm taking my LA Colors Dark Brown Eyebrow Pencil and I'm using this to outline her brows. Now that both brows have been outlined, I'm going to start filling them in from the back and working my way to the front. To fill in the front of my client's eyebrows, I'm using my Nika K eyebrow pencil and this one is in the shade dark brown. Now I'm going to go back in with the LA Colors pencil and I'm using it to fill in any sparse areas. Once I'm satisfied with the brow, I like to brush over it with the spoolie end of my pencil just to make sure that everything is nice and blended. I'm taking my Eye Envy Clear Eyelash Glue and I'm using this to mold her brow hairs down in place. To clean up her eyebrows, I'm going in with these two concealers. One is from RK by Kiss and the other is from Nika K. The shades are Espresso and 07. First, I'm going in with that Nika K concealer and I'm using it to clean up underneath her arch. Now I'm going in with the RK by Kiss Concealer and I'm going to be using it to clean up the remainder of the way.
once I'm finished blending out the concealer, I'm gonna go back in with my brow pencil and just use it to correct any mistakes that I may have made when cleaning up the brows. Once I'm finished with this, we'll be moving on to the eyes. So for an eyeshadow base, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer and this is in the shade White. Before I move on to the eyeshadow, I'm going in with my Dermablend Translucent Powder and I'm pressing this throughout the front of her eyebrows just to lighten them up and I'm also using it to set some of the concealer in place. To start off today's look, I'm going in with this bright purple shade from my Morphe 35B palette and I'm packing this on the outer edge of my client's eye using this blending brush from Shop Miss A. This shade is going to serve as my transition. Next, I'm going to be going in with this deeper purple shade. It's also from my Morphe 35B palette. And I'm going to be packing this in her crease. I decided to mix these two P. Louise bases together to create this violet shade. I mixed more of the blue than I did the pink and I'm just packing this on her lids using this blending brush. This one is from Morphe. I want to say it's an E27 but I'm not sure because the number rubbed off. But yeah, this is the color I decided to create. I wanted to do like a lilac type of theme on the lids. I actually had this color in a P. Louise base, but I couldn't find it at the moment. And it ended up popping up right when I finished this video, y'all. I was so mad. But anyway, we're just going to pack this base on the lids. And then I'm going to go back in with the purple shade. And I mixed it with a little bit of like a fuchsia pink. And I'm packing it on the outer edge of my client's eye. For her lids, I decided to go in with these two pigments, and I don't know the name of the one on the left, but first we're going to be using this Ashley Lee Cosmetics pigment, as y'all can see. It's like this purple shade, and then it kind of has blue reflectance in it, and the shade name of this pigment is Supernova. It's really pretty. Y'all know I love me some Ashley Lee Cosmetics pigments. And I'm packing this on her eye using an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Now I'm taking that rose gold pigment, the one I told y'all I did not know the shade name, and I'm packing it on the outer edge of her eye to kind of add some dimension. I decided to go ahead and show y'all the shade even though I didn't know the name or the brand just so y'all can get a gist of the color scheme that I'm using. And now I'm going back in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade white. And I'm packing this in the inner corner of her eye to give it like a highlight. And once I have the concealer all applied, I like to set it in place using a matte white eyeshadow. I forgot to mention that I did not go in with any adhesives prior to using the pigments. I just like to pack them right on top of the base just to give it something to stick to. And now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner and I'm going to use this to line her eyes. And for this look I decided to do a wing.
I did the other eye off camera. Now I'm going in with my Fenty White Liquid Liner and I'm using this to create the accent line. Y'all, please excuse my kitchen. Don't look at it. Focus on the eyes. Focus on how I'm killing this accent line. And now we're moving on to the face, okay? I'm going in with my e.l.f. matte poreless putty primer. I almost forgot the name. And I'm using this to prime her face. And to do so, I'm just using my damp Real Technique sponge. I went ahead and cleaned and moisturized her face off camera prior to adding the primer. And I moisturized her face using my Pond's moisturizer. Now I'm going in with my Nika K concealer in the shade number 10. And I'm using this to color correct around her mouth. For her foundation, I'm going in with my Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, and this one is in the shade Nutmeg. To highlight her face, I'm going in with my Nika K Concealer in the shade 07. I'm going back in with my foundation brush and I'm using it to press out all of the concealer for anybody that's interested in this brush. I ordered it off AliExpress and I'm sure if you type in foundation brush you should be able to find it. I think it's similar to the Sephora E47 brush. I'm taking any excess concealer that was left on my brush and I'm using it to clean up the edge of her liner.
to set the concealer in place, I'm going in with my Morphe Loose Powder and it's in the shade Rich Banana. To bronze up her face, I'm going in with my Black Radiance Press Powder and it's in the shade Black Coffee. I'm setting the remaining areas of her face using another Black Radiance Press Powder and this one is in the shade Rich Mahogany. I went ahead and lined the edge of her waterline using some black eyeshadow. Now I'm taking that dark purple eyeshadow and I'm just working it on her lower lash line. And once I have that all applied, I'm going to be going back in with my foundation brush and I'm using it to press in all of the powder. I'm gonna go ahead and spray her face with some setting spray and then we're gonna be moving on to lashes. Now I'm just going to go in and highlight her face and to highlight her face I'm just using a highlighter from my Be Perfect Carnival XL palette. I feel like I use some of the same products in every video y'all but I'm somebody that really doesn't like to switch up. I like to stick to my old faithful products because I know they're going to get me right every time. And speaking of old and faithful, now we're going in and doing my client's lips. And to do her lips I'm using my Julius Place foundation stick and it's in the shade Congo. I'm going in the center of her lips with my Nika K lip gloss in the shade Mocha and I'm going to have her press her lips together and then I'm going to go on top of it with my OZ Lab lip gloss and it's in the shade number one. Once I'm finished blending out the lips, we'll be getting into the grind reveal, so I'm gonna let y'all watch. Girl, I'm excited. <laughs> Just a good point. Ready to see? Yes. Wow, yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, yes, I love it. Beautiful. Very beautiful. It's been a long Very time since beautiful. we did something with color. Yes. Oh, I love it. 
I'm about to be cute tonight. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love this. Mm -hmm. It's giving birthday. I know, right? <laughs> it's very pretty. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You're welcome. It is pretty. Girl, got me smiling up there. <laughs> Okay, queens, we've made it to the end of the video. And as y'all can see by my client's reaction, this tutorial was another success. I think this look came out absolutely beautiful. I hope you all enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed creating it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you follow me on Instagram. A link will be down in the description box below. Bye-bye, queens.